and the winning super fan is Caroline! Ah! In this episode of Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, it was Caroline's need for speed that drove her 1990s Nissan Sentra straight to victory. The winning builds authentic fighter jet wings, custom cockpit, and real jet-powered engine earned this former F-18 weapon system officer a key to the finale for a chance to create the next Hot Wheels diecast. Caroline and her carpool worked like mavericks to install Tornado fighter jet wings, took our breath away with its fully functional jet engine, and grounded the Inspirationator 5000's electrifying twist with an automated cockpit canopy. <laughs> Right now, join our panel of car experts, celebrity guest judge, and me, Rutledge Wood, for a jet fuel debate over which wheels will cruise into the finale and who will ride above to create the next Hot Wheels diecast. Better than I could have ever imagined! This is Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge Best Builds. Welcome to the after show. Caroline just squeaked out the win over Angela. I mean, y'all, this was insane. A jet car and a wrestling ring. It was fight or flight, two super cool cars, but Caroline pulls out the win. I mean, she made a jet car out of a Nissan Sentra. And that build is awesome. I, mean, I, know, is. My, I know my son would pick that thing up and throw it right at my face. <laughs> It's such a, it would be such an awesome Hot Wheels. Aw, yeah. oh, Tretch. The fact that Caroline took this super boxy, uninteresting Nissan Sentra that was her grandfather's car, it was her first car, and that's really where she got her Need for Speed, hence the name Need for Speed. The Nissan Sentra was freedom, was all the things that I craved most in life. My grandfather gifted it to me when I was 16. He taught me how to drive, and he taught me the confidence and the capability that I really could solve any problem or anything that was broken. To be able to honor his legacy, I could make my family and myself proud. To take a car like that and turn it into a fighter jet on wheels is really difficult. And kudos to that team for being able to source all of that equipment, all of those pieces. I mean, they literally use parts from an actual fighter jet. It can't get cleaner than that. We first put a real Tornado fighter jet canopy and the wings on the car. And then we also added a removable trunk panel so that we could really see that afterburner, that jet engine that we put in the plane. I think the proportions is what I was most impressed by. I mean, to cut down those wings and to make them fold just like on the plane that she flew in, that's really impressive. But also the fact that they had the tails on there and then the afterburner that actually worked. I mean, how cool was that? I was not expecting it to be that loud, that hot, or that insane. This is amazing. This could be in a movie. Can we talk about how cool it is to have a guest judge like Joel McHale that will jump in with us and just go have a blast? That's really special. As an avid Hot Wheels fan, yes. what makes this car a Hot Wheels to you? Because there's a wrestling ring in the middle of a car. There, what, what do you think? The power seats? <laughs> What was your favorite part of Angela's build? Well, the thing about Angela's car is she really wasn't afraid to step out of the box. Nothing makes sense about cutting a car in half and putting a wrestling ring in the middle of it. It was cool, it was fun, it was interactive, it was creative. I felt so much joy watching her live her dream in that car. I also happen to be a professional wrestler. I was going to my championship match and I just didn't believe in myself. And then it's like, it snap. I pulled up, I got dressed, I stepped out of that car and I was ready to go. And if it wasn't for that moment, I don't even know where I'd be today. So I wanna transition her into a professional wrestler. I gotta give a lot of credit to Charlie, our carpooler, what we refer to as the Mad Hatter. He got in that ring with Angela. Let's, Let's get to the fight, come on. She picked him up like it was a paper clip and slammed him on the ground. That was impressive. <laughs> I mean, what's tricky is when you look at these two builds, they're so very different, right? But Angel's was harder because it just had so much real estate in the middle of the car that without the performance of the wrestling match, it kind of just looked a little off, I felt like. Yeah, even though I feel like Angela's build was more creative, more original, it was really hard to top turning a car into a jet. That team executed that plan perfectly. 
to have the twist be to electrify something, they use that actuator to move the canopy open. That really pushed her car over the top. Being able to make that canopy so it's automatic is going to be a game changer. <laughs> One of the biggest thing about Caroline's fighter jet is it's supposed to win. Almost anything you put it up against, it's supposed to win. But when she painted it that battleship gray, it kind of let me down a bit. You know, this is Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge. You have the opportunity to build anything from your wildest imagination, and you can use any color on the spectrum. Choosing battleship gray made the battle between her and the wrestling car hard to pick. Can you tell me more about what this paint is going to look like? So we are going with the battleship gray to really honor the F-18. Have you guys thought about doing a Hot Wheels gray? <laughs> something shiny, something metallic, something that's really loud and bold, you know? That is great feedback. Sometimes it really pays for a super fan to really stick to what they believe in, but I think in this case, that wasn't really it. You know, of course, uh, fighter jets, they need to be that color because they need to be stealthy, they need to be not seen, but that's not what a Hot Wheels is. A Hot Wheels is meant to be loud, it's meant to be bold, and of course there is a Hot Wheels gray that they could have picked from that had this kind of spectra flame, almost metallic finish to it that would have made this build so much more dynamic. I mean, a little touch of flames, maybe some other colors, it would have made this not a close race. Caroline really won because she executed so well in this round, whereas Angela had some really great, really fun, really original ideas, but I don't think they came together well. So Caroline is our fifth super fan winner. She's gonna join Sheila, Jim, Al David, and Arushi in the winner circle. Now, let's just keep in mind, you know, we've got eight challenges. And from each challenge, one super fan is going to move on to the finale. But in the finale, we're going to pick the three very best builds of the entire season. And those three super fans will get the chance to build a completely different car. And so how do you think she'll do if she makes it to that final three? Oh, don't look at me. That question is so hard. <laughs> it's so hard, right? It's so, so difficult. I actually think... Some of our past super fans might have a stronger chance at being in the finale. I don't think the need for speed in Battleship Gray beats the Monster Bug. I don't think the need for speed in Battleship Gray beats the Power Charge. I don't think it beats the Jiper Jewel. And it all just stems from that color. That, that color is just not loud enough. You know what? Uh, our dear friend Joel McHale did leave us a little video. I think Joel maybe feels like Caroline deserves a spot in the finale. Do you guys want to see the video? Sure. Yes. Oh. Caroline's car, it's crazy how well it came together and there's so many tiny details. The call sign on the tail, the rivets, all the tiny little details. I think the fit and finish of that car is perfect. Okay, Joel makes a great point there. Seeing what Caroline and that team did, to me, I think she'd be a great one in the finale because she really did understand how do we change this car and then change the proportions to make all of this stuff work. I mean, that's the kind of versatility that you really need when you get handed a completely different car that you probably don't have any attachment to. Yeah, I, I agree. So who's gonna be our grand prize winner and take home $50,000 and have their design turned into an actual Hot Wheels diecast car that you can buy? Find out on Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. on NBC and streaming on Peacock the next day. Oh, and don't forget, join us right here for the after show next week. See you then.